today I'll be ranking every single Hive game and Hub game. So I thought of doing this video for a while, I was going to wait until Block Party released, but I decided I wasn't going to wait until Block Party, I'm just going to do it now. So let's get started with this tier list, later this month I'll be doing a beating every game, so that will kind of line up with this video a bit. So I've lined up every single game that's in the Hub, you know, from Survival Games to Death Run, Block Trap to Ground Wars, and then the three Hub games. So I'll be starting it in that order. So without further ado, let's get started and make sure to subscribe. The first game mode on the list is going to be survival games. And this is probably the easiest PvP game mode and the worst PvP game mode until the arcade came into the hive. Once the arcade came in, I would probably gonna say either survival games or the bridge is the worst. Survival games can still easily be the worst, although survival games definitely need some type of update. Either map update, quality of life, updates or just features to be added into survival games. Survival games is a pretty average game mode. It's not the worst. It's not really toxic at all. You don't really get much high plus members joining in. Very rarely you will see a level 30 in there and I'm a level 22 myself. Survival games is going in C tier. Murder mystery is the next one. I've actually been grinding this a little more than I thought I would be. Right now I'm currently a level 30, 70 levels away from max level. Murder Mystery is kind of fun, but it's not fun at the same time. It can get pretty boring, very repetitive, very quickly, and I can kind of see why people don't grind this game mode as much as they want to. C tier. Treasure Wars is a very fun game mode some days, and some days you're going to be running into sweats and toxic players. Personally, Treasure Wars isn't always my favorite game mode to play. It's not my number one ga favorite game mode to play. But if I ignore the sweats and toxicity out of the game mode, it's actually a fun game to play. The maps are pretty well done, and I think Seasons would definitely be a good touch to Treasure Wars. S tier. Skywars Kits is going to be something I wanted to talk about a bit. Skywars Kits. Man. They had a whole update for Skywars Kits. They have a whole NPC for this game mode. Just for it to have nothing. Let me explain. Basically, when you log into Kits, you're basically put into the same lobby as Skywars with the same levels, the same rewards. The only small difference there is is the lobby is retextured a tiny bit. Different blocks at different places. That's it. Plus the kits. And there's only five kits that released at launch and there have been no kits since then. And we're coming up in a year of since kits got added and it's going to be in two or three months from now and there's still no new kits that were going to be added. And I highly doubt there'll be any new ones before a year has passed because of Treasure Wars Seasons. Skywars Kits is basically Skywars with five different kits. And it's not that fun and doesn't change the game that much. D tier. Skywars is pretty fun of a game mode, if I'm not going to lie. Honestly, Skywars is way better than Skywars Kits. The only reason why Skywars Kits is low is because it only has five kits. That's the only difference here. Same levels, same maps, the lobby is basically the exact same. It doesn't add much. Sky Wars, on the other hand, is as fun. I'm going to say it's S tier. Just Build. Oh boy, where do I start? Just Build is super slow to level up in. It's not fun of a game mode. Half the time when you want to get votes, just build something weird or off topic. That's basically the way to go. And half the time, it's true. Or I shouldn't say half the time. Most of the time, it is true. Building random stuff in Just Build basically gets you the points you need. You can even AFK in duos or something and hope you win. That's how bad it is. Just Build definitely needs some type of update. I mean, I wouldn't really personally know what to do for Just Build as an update. Just Build has basically stayed the same since it released, I'm pretty sure. But besides that, Just Build is pretty bad of a game mode, and I'm honestly going to put in the F tier. I might regret this later, but we'll see at the end. Hide and Seek was the first permanent game mode to I had maxed out. Ghost Evasion was one of the game modes I maxed out. But obviously Ghost Evasion and Snow Wars is not on this list, is it? Hide and Seek was fun for what it was. But it can get, again, just like Murder Mystery. Boring and repetitive at times. And it's not always too fun to play. Easy to level up in, but not too fun to play. I do think Hide and Seek should get an update in the future when it comes to new maps and quality of life changes. It should not get a level or rewards update. I think that would ruin the game out a bit. And it would not be fun to grind in. I think Hide and Seek is kind of a fun game mode, but at the same time, just like Murder Mystery, it can get very boring and repetitive. D tier. Death Run is in desperate need of an update, just like Skywars Kits, Survival Games, Murder Mystery, and Just Bell. A whole bunch of these game modes 
need some type of update as well. Death Run is probably number one on that list, if not number two. Death Run could use some more traps. Death Run could use a new level system, like a level 75 with more rewards. I think it would be really cool to see Death Run get a new update. And honestly, out of all the game modes I think should get a new update, it's either Murder Mystery or Death Run. Death Run is so fun to play. I think if it received a new update, it would probably be S tier. But Death Run, in my personal opinion, A tier. Now we're going to go into all the arcade game modes and hub games. Block Drop is the first game mode. Block Drop is fun, but same reason to some of these other games. It can get boring at times, it can get repetitive. Some maps are small, some maps are big. I recommend if you're trying to grind, use the big maps. When I do my maxing arcade video, I will give you guys tips for all four of these game modes, of course. And out of all four of these game modes, Block Drop or Capture the Flag are probably even the best ones. But just like all these other games, Block Drop can get repetitive, but just because of how fast you can level up, and sometimes it can be fun with the power-ups. Block Drop is B tier. Capture the Flag was the first arcade game I maxed out a month after it released. The way to play this game mode is basically you capture the other team's flag. You have to return it to your base. I mean, it's your regular Capture the Flag game mode. Obviously, there's different things that make it cool, like the boom boxes and the sweet berries. So that's honestly a really cool touch, plus the upgrades you can put on your team. And basically, that's really it. The best way to play this game mode is, be, is by playing with a party, a party with friends or sweats that are really good at the game. If you're on a party and the opposite team is full of sweats, you're best to just leave the game. If you're not on a team with sweats yourself, you're best just to leave. You have to be on the team with either good players or just sweats to even have a chance you capture the flag. I don't really know if a capture the flag update is 100% necessary. But for me, Capture the Flag is an A tier. So, we're at this point. I ranked all the games. Let's fix some of this. Let's do a final ranking, my final ranking of every single game. First up, F tier. Just Build is interesting. I think because of how it is right now, it deserves F tier. Highest I'll actually ever bring it would be D tier. Probably even above duels if, if I'm even that generous, but highest I'll probably bring it as D tier. But I think for right now it's in the garbage tier. Nemo Slap and Squeef are 100% staying in F tier. I'm not even going to bother moving those. Duels is staying in D tier. They won't go any higher than this. If it goes lower, it's going in F tier, like around here between Just Build and Nemo Slap. Ground Wars isn't going any higher from here. I wouldn't mind moving it down the garbage, but I think Ground Wars is fine where it is. Skywars Kits, I could be generous and rank it higher. In the D tier, or maybe at the end of S tier, but it hasn't received any updates, and these, and it's basically the exact same as Sky Wars. Hide and seek, I'm probably going to be generous, and I'm going to rank it an average, but it is boring and repetitive at times. I think the bridge is slightly better than hide and seek, but when it comes to sweat and toxicity, that would be the only reason why I would rank it lower than hide and seek. But I think bridge is fine where it is. Sorel games and murder mystery, I'm probably going to rank on the same tier. I think these are fine where they are right now. If I had to move one up, it could be Sorrel Games or it could be Murder Mystery or both at good tier. But I think they're both pretty average game modes the way they are. Block Drop is good. It just gets boring and repetitive. Honestly, if it receives some type of new map or quality of life or new power-up update, it could go in the great tier. But I think right now it's good where it is. Capture the Flag is good too. I could honestly switch these and I, I'm going to switch them right now. I think Block Trip is great. I think Capture the Flag is good. Uh, that's where I'm going to rank them for now. And I think Death Run is at the A tier. I think if we receive some type of update, it would be in the amazing tier. For someone like me, I play Sky Wars more than Treasure Wars. So I'm going to say Treasure Wars goes in the great tier. But the only problem here where, where I would probably rank them on the same tier, where Sky Wars lower, is because there is more hackers in Sky Wars, but there is more sweats and toxicity in Treasure Wars. So it can go either way. I think personally, this is fine where it is, and I think they're fine where they are. This is personally my final ranking at the moment. Obviously, if any game receives a new update, then yes, I think it could vary on whichever game receives an update. But I think right now, this is my official Hive tier list of where all the games are at the moment. Not sure where Block Party would go because that's not out yet. We'll see what ends up happening in the future. I will probably do this sometime next year, hopefully, when new games come out and everything, if that's the case. 
If not, I probably won't do it. But anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. List your ranking in the comments down below. And do you agree or disagree with some of these rankings or any of these rankings? Anyways, guys, hope you guys have an amazing day today. Hope you guys can subscribe and hit the bell. God bless. Jesus loves you. And goodbye.